Welcome to our August edition of Nosing Around with the Brunswick County Chamber. I am Shannon Vieira, filling in for Tony Carrico, who will be joining us a little later for a segment. But I would like to introduce our new co-host and director of events and marketing, Megan Bishop. Welcome. Thank you, Thank Welcome. you so much. We're happy to have you here. Thank you. We have a great show today. Um, we are talking about home-based businesses. Um, we have special guest, um, Sheila Saunders from Origami Owl. Um, we have a massage therapist, um, Marie Best, and Joyce Bailey from North Carolina Coastal Concierge. Sounds like it's going to be a great show. We have a lot of home-based businesses here in Brunswick County. I think that um, it was very hard to, to choose just three this week, but um, this month. But it was it's a great it's a great uh, little bit side business for for our community here. I'm excited. Good. Thank you. We'll, we'll get started. It's my pleasure to introduce Sheila Sanders with Southern Grace Origami Owl. Sheila, thanks for being here today. You're very welcome. It's my pleasure. Yeah, we're talking about home-based businesses, and Sheila and her partner Leah have a great, successful business. So, tell us a little bit about Origami Owl. Origami Owl is a um, high-fashion jewelry. Uh, it's custom jewelry that you build yourself. It's built around what's called a living locket. It's a locket that you can actually open and place charms inside that tell a story about who you are. It's really, really neat. And how did you become interested in Oregon? Uh, it's actually totally by accident. In September of 2012, I Googled unique gift for sweet hairdresser friend. Up pops this gorgeous locket that has a hair dryer, little scissors, and rhinestones in it. I thought, how awesome. She's a, a diva anyway, and I love her. She's a good friend of mine. And I ordered it. Didn't think anything about it. It was very inexpensive, so I ordered it. When it came, it came in an awesome little box, a little Chinese takeout box, and it had a fortune cookie inside. And I looked at it, and I thought, wow, this is really neat stuff. So I went back online and researched a little bit into the company and found out that it was actually founded by a 14-year-old girl, um, Bella Weems. At 14, she decided she wanted to have a car at 16, and her parents have a lot of children. So her dad said, well, you better start working. So she went out and babysat for about six months, made about $350, <laughs> and she decided that wasn't going to cut it. So she and her mother got together and formed Origami Owl, mainly because Bella loves origami. Her room's full of it, and her mother loves owls. So Origami Owl, and that's how they began. That was a little over three years ago. They are now the number one direct sales company in this country. Wow. Um, and Bella bought her brand new white 2013 Jeep last February. That's exciting. So, it's a pretty awesome company, actually. But I actually fell in love with it because in reading about Bella, I found out that they are a company that gives back. Um, they are a Christian-based company. They are, they have their motto, as a matter of fact, is being a force for good. Mm -hmm. So That's we right. actually put a little bit of ourselves back into our company. Okay. Tell us a little bit about your products, what you have, um, the cost of them. Okay. Our um, living lockets, as a matter of fact, um, they are lockets that you can actually personalize. They're made of stainless steel, high-grade stainless steel. There's no nickel. There's nothing that you can be allergic to. It opens by way of a magnet on the side, and as you open it, you can place inside charms that tell a story about who you are. There's over 400 different charms, and you may then add dangles as you like. You can add pewter plates that we have, and these are really cool because like this one, this is my favorite. It says, let not your heart be troubled, and on the back it says, I'll go anywhere. Mm. It's really very nice. Um, you can make it as snappy as you like, or you can make it very simple and very elegant. Um, we do different ways of selling the product. We do not have a shop. Um, it's home-based. Mm -hmm. You can, we do parties. You can do catalog parties. You can actually do online parties, oh. um, which is really neat. I have several ladies um, in our community who every time they see new product, they call me up and say, I need books and, and order forms, and I give them to them. And a month later, I pick them up, and they get a lot of their product free. 
Um, but home parties are a lot of fun too because we do a lot of giveaways. Mm -hmm. um, most everybody's heard about the product, so when we walk in, we actually tell our little spiel for about five minutes and then everybody goes to work making their own. Um, we let folks play with everything that we have at the party and then they place an order and theirs comes then within about seven to ten days. Very nice. So how does the online party work? The online party you can do, uh, we're a socially based company, so um, we have Facebook. Um, you set up an event, tell all your friends to join. We're going to, Friday night, 7 o'clock, everybody's going to get together and Jennifer's going to do a party. And everybody goes online, they all go, do their orders, um, they all then are sent directly to them for a very minimal shipping fee. And it's just a lot of fun. I mean, oh, yeah. it's really a socially, I mean, when we we really uh, correspond back and forth with one another all over the country that way. As a matter of fact, I did a uh, home team call last night. Um, we have over 1,100 just in our southeastern team. Do you have a website for yourself? I do. We are southerngrace.com um, with Origami Owl. Southern Grace is S-O-U-T-H-E-R-N-G-R-A-Y-C-E.com. Uh, we named the company after my co-designer, Leah Benton's daughter, Grace. Um, because she's our little diva. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she loves it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit more about the products. Um, you showed us your necklace. What mm -hmm. else do you have? We actually have earrings that we've okay. just recently come out with. Um, I did not wear them today, but there are some in uh, the front little box there that we can take a look at in a few minutes. Okay. Um, there are bracelets, which I'm wearing mine now, where the Lockets actually open from the side. The bracelets, in order to keep everything safe, it unscrews from the top, which is really, really neat. They come in silver, gold, rose gold. Everything comes in silver, rose, and rose gold. We always have specialty products like our black chains and our black locket. We have a chocolate locket, mm. um, which is very soon going out of uh, circulation, but I have quite a few. So if anybody's interested in the chocolate locket, they can certainly contact me. Uh, we do, with our home parties, our uh, hostesses actually can earn a hostess exclusive item, which is really neat. Um, and it's, it's just a lot of fun to play with. If you like, I can show you how to make one up. Oh, great. That'd be great. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. I'm going to use the silver. And I'm going to take this out. And what our ladies do at the party is we set out all of our charms. And we probably have 12 of these little sheets. I only brought three today. Um, but what this does is I'm going to take my little cup and I'm going to open up. And what are some of your favorite things, ladies? Mm, well, Flowers. Um, I like beachy. I was going to say, you like the beachy. Nautical. Oh, nautical. we have brand new. We have, let's see, oh, my favorite one is my beach ball. How many charms do you have in your... Um, in your stock? In the, oh, in my stock, in my inventory, probably mm -hmm. well over 1,200, I wow. would imagine. Um, there are over 500 different ones, but we also do events around town. We have done um, the Festival by the Sea, mm -hmm. in which okay. it's a craft fair. So Lee and I also crochet and we do crafts, so we do 50 50. We have that in our, um, with our craft fairs. We do a lot of the uh, Silver Coast Winery mm -hmm. events. Um, it's a lot of fun. We do a lot of bridal fairs. Um, so we do events and we do make and takes on those events. I bet they fact. make great um, bridal party gifts. Oh, I, we actually have brides that make their lockets for their bridesmaids. Oh, and we have such a good time because we take everything to the bride's house and we let her sit for however long she wants to. Yeah. and make up each one, play with it, look at it, and then we place her order and we have it back How well special. in time. Yeah, and it like is, that. and they That's give it out usually idea. at the bridal, yeah. you know, the party before. Um, we also have a sailboat, which we don't really have sailboats at the beach. Let's see, oh, we have my lighthouse. Oh yeah. We have to have a lighthouse. Okay. How many charms can you fit into a necklace? Like, obviously depending on the size. The many, the many that I have on here, will hold three to five, okay. depending on the size. Mm -hmm. Of course, if you put a big seahorse in, um, you're not gonna get anything else in there. But you could put probably five to six of the little uh, rhinestones for birthstones, as a okay. matter of fact. Um, we have a few more minutes here to uh -huh. finish up. 
What else do you got there? Well, let's see. We have, so far, um, a beach ball and a lighthouse. We got the scuba. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and what's the price point of these charms? What? Oh, the charms themselves, $5 a piece. The most expensive piece you're going to spend money for will be your locket. Okay. They range from $20 to $44, and the $44 is our brand new heart that just came mm -hmm. out in Valentine's. And the chains are anywhere from $10 to $40 themselves. So you can make a really nice locket for about $50 to $60. I'm going to continue to put these in, as you can see, once we get everything in. Oh, how pretty. Yeah, oh, beautiful. Well. Is there anything else you'd like us to know about Origami Owl that you're special We proud actually of? are a company. I am a team leader. I have five designers under me. And if anyone's interested, uh, you can actually come to our website. And we'd have, be happy to mentor anyone who would like to buy into the company. It's only $149 oh, wow. buy-in. Okay, very good. So. Well, thank you so much, Sheila, oh, for being here. Oh, you're very welcome. This is beautiful, thank you. beautiful thank product. You. And we love it. <laughs> we wish you a, a lot of success with your business. Thank you. We and appreciate it very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks. We are glad to have Joyce Bailey here with North Carolina Coastal Concierge. Thank you for being a part of this show today. My pleasure. Tell us a little bit about your company, North Carolina Coastal Concierge. Okay. Well, I've been in business for almost four years. And what we provide is a wide variety of uh, services to homeowners. Um, my clients basically fall into two categories, folks that have property here at the beach and don't live here, mm -hmm. or they live here and just need a helping hand from time to time. And we provide services, everything from house cleaning to pet sitting to checking on homes to help with entertaining just pretty much any need that a customer would have, we can take care of. Okay, and why did you want to go into this business? Well, I have a pretty extensive background in sales, marketing, and customer service, and when I retired from Johnson & Johnson, I wanted to do something that would let me use those skills. I have several friends with concierge businesses in other parts of the country, and I did a lot of research in this area and very quickly discovered that no one was providing those services. So I decided to start it here, and it has become extremely popular. And tell us a little bit more, a little bit more about the services, just a little bit more in depth about the services that you can provide your okay. clients. Okay, okay. Um, as I said, uh, my customers fall into a couple of categories. Right. For folks who have property here that don't live here, what I generally do is, is really take care of their home when they're not here. We check on things, especially in the off season when they're not here as often, to make sure they don't have any surprises going on. Okay. We take care of cleaning, any maintenance that needs to be done on their home. Um, we can do grocery shopping for them when they're coming down. Pretty much anything that they need related to their home. Okay. Um, on the other hand, folks that live here, uh, we do everything from, as a matter of fact, I'm planning a 40th wedding anniversary party. Uh, I, I coordinated a uh, rehearsal dinner for some folks in Ocean Ridge Plantation. Uh, we clean, we pet sit, really any need that they have, we can help them take care of. Um, on Friday, I'm taking folks to the airport, picking up other right. folks, oh. coming home. So we can do pretty much anything that they need, any helping hand we can provide. Now, if a client was interested in mm -hmm. using your business, how would they contact you? Do you have a website? Yes, we have a website. Okay. Um, it's NorthCarolinaCoastalConcierge.com, okay. and on that site, they'll find comprehensive information. But I will say that if they have a need that they don't see listed, that doesn't mean we don't right. do it. So they can call me directly. My number is 919-602-7111, and they will get me directly, and we can talk about what their needs are and how we can help them. How's your pricing structure as far as what you charge? That's a great question. We charge um, uh, basically by the hour. Uh, mm -hmm. Some of our services, for example, we offer storm protection. So if a storm is coming, we'll go to someone's home and take their furniture in, and that's a fee for the season. They'll pay a fee no matter how many storms we have, whether okay. we have one or 20. They'll pay a fee for the hurricane season, and we'll take care of that. Our cleaning is a separate fee as well, and that's an hourly rate. And then what our patient, oh, patients, what our clients usually do is they'll buy uh, bundles of hours of our time, and then they use them whenever they need them. The more they buy, the less the hourly rate is. And then we just 
keep track of, of what they use and they never expire. So there's, they have them forever and they use them as they need them. Do you complete your services in Sunset Beach, Ocean Isle, all of Brunswick County? Talk about that just a little bit. Um, the bulk of my customers are in the Holden Beach, Ocean Isle Beach, and Sunset Beach okay. area. Um, on the islands in particular, mm -hmm. but then we have a lot of clients in Ocean Ridge Plantation, Sea Trail, and the surrounding areas. Okay. Do you have any plans of um, expanding your business further out, or are you pretty content to stay in this area? Well, I, we want to stay small because we deliver a level of service that I want to maintain. And I worry that if we get too large, I'll lose some of that control. So we intentionally are small. We've had some requests to expand in the Wilmington area. However, there are several services already in Wilmington. Right. And um, it's just a little too far for me to feel comfortable that we would keep that level of service up. So we're really trying to keep it small so that we can deliver a very high level of service. Do you have several people that work for you or is it just you? I do. I do have several people. Um, I have a couple of ladies that work for me pretty regularly and then I have some others that work for me on an as needed basis. The beauty of the folks that work for me is they're all like myself, older, mm -hmm. retired, um, and really, really care about what they're doing and, and they will deliver the quality that, that we've set forth. Okay. Is there anything we haven't asked you that maybe we're missing that you want to say, uh, talk about? Um, one of the nicest things about my business is once people start using our services, they really had no idea how much they needed us and how much uh, peace of mind we provide, especially for those folks who don't live here. Mm -hmm. And so having us as their point of contact and their guardian angel looking out for things mm -hmm. for them has really been um, a, a lot of the positive feedback that we get. Leaves them with a good experience with Absolutely. our area. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Are there any other resources that you utilize in the community that help you with your business? Absolutely, and I think the biggest contributor to a lot of our success has been the Chamber. Um, I know when I was getting started, uh, the Chamber was one of the first places I came to, and I got such incredible support. Not only do I get a lot of referrals from the Chamber, people call the Chamber looking for various and sundry services, so I've gotten many referrals, mm -hmm. but there's a whole host of business seminars that I take advantage of. There are so many wonderful resources available through the Chamber that can really help not only new businesses, but established businesses. And I think taking advantage of all those resources available to me really contributed to our success. And I will continue to do it in the future. Well, thank you, Joyce, yeah. so much for being here. My pleasure. Thank, thank you. you for having me. Thank you. I'd like to welcome Marie Best here today. She is a massage therapist. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about your business and where you got your training. Originally, I lived in Maryland in the Washington, D.C. metro area, so my training took place at the National Massage Therapy Institute. After that, I sat for the Maryland State Licensure Examination, received that, but I went a step further and wanted to be nationally certified, which is showing it's an additional exam. It's not required but for state licensure, but I wanted to go a little bit above and beyond, obtained that uh, national credentialing, and... Um, it also requires you to adhere to a standard of practice as well as code of ethics code. Um, and you're required to have continuing education as long as you're in practice. Okay. And just recently I was voted um, one of the top three for the 2014 Best of Brunswick, which I just wanted to say thank you to all my clients for that. Yeah, that was a real That's accomplishment, I feel. Okay. Tell us a little bit about the services that you can provide your clients. I offer a variety of services from prenatal massage to Swedish to deep tissue to hot stone massage, foot reflexology, um, as well as the use of aromatherapy, which is the use of fragrant natural oils from herbs, flowers, plants, um, fruits. And I incorporate aromatherapy, for an example, I use peppermint oil, natural peppermint oil in hot towels so that we put those on the backs of the clients. As they're laying there, it warms up 
the back, neck, shoulder areas before I actually work that area. So it real peppermint oil is extremely good. Uh, works really well at relaxing sore muscles. So that's used in throughout uh, my 60 and 90 minute sessions. What else can your clients benefit from your services? It's vast. The mm -hmm. ma a massage, a therapeutic massage, um, really has impact on majority of your organ systems. So it works boosting your immune system to increasing circulation, to decreasing blood pressure, decreasing anxiety, lowering your stress hormones that the body produces, uh, the ability to have a reduction in post-surgery scar tissue, adhesion formation, um, joint flexibility is increased. So it is quite broad how the, the client can benefit from it. And massage is a cumulative effect on the body. So the more often you receive a massage, the greater the benefits are going to be for you. Well, we're going to take a little break right now and um, have a demonstration of your work. And we're going to um, come right back in just a few minutes. Well, welcome back. We have a special guest with us today. You've probably been wondering where Tony was this, this month. Um, he actually hurt himself um, lifting some things. So we um, asked him to come back and get a demonstration. And uh, Marie's going to show us. Um, how she would um, do a massage for some trouble spots on, on an individual, and Tony's having some upper neck issues. So, Marie, do you want to okay. explain what you might do here? Um, the client, Tony, has explained that he has pain in through the neck up here and then down into this area on, across the shoulder blade. Basically, that's a large muscle, the trapezius, that runs all the way along the back. Mm -hmm and a levator scapula, which is another one that would be, it's a long muscle up in the neck. So you basically have to be able to have the client explain where the pain is, and then the therapist will basically do soft gliding strokes, and what that allows me to do is really feel where the tightness is in the muscle, and you have to work the direction, and do some cross fiber friction. So there's a variety of strokes that massage therapists can use in order to release those adhesions and knots. And his would appear, appear to have been from overuse of these muscles um, since he had done a lot of lifting in a very short period of time. And you can feel that, can't you? Mm -hmm. That's a little adhesion, a knot in the muscle. Muscles are not supposed to be, they're supposed to be able to glide over one another. And that's what happens when they get overuse and the blood gets stagnated in that area and that's what you're trying to do is have more circulation in the muscle. So basically with a client like that, um, you'd work up some type of treatment plan if it was a chronic problem. Oftentimes you can really make the client feel rather well um, and relieve them of the pain that they might be experiencing after one session depending upon what it is. Um, Clients that come to me are real varied. I basically offer services to both male and female clients. I have um, clients that run the age of 18 up into their 80s. So it's a good thing that people, even as they get older, realize the benefits of a massage. They run from office workers to athletes, runners, golfers, tennis, um, to vacationers. Quite often those people who are coming here for vacations have worked very hard at work those last few days just trying to get ready for their vacation. They've driven long hours, so they need massages as well. So I do get a lot of appointments from those visiting the area. Tell us a little bit more about what a client can expect from you on their first session. Basically a new client will fill out an intake form. It uh, has a brief health questionnaire so I can get some idea of their background issue as far as their health related, any medications they're on. Make sure there's no contraindications based on physical ailments and the medication for a, for a massage. And then um, I explain my protocol to the client, how the massage will go, how they're to approach and lay on the table to start. 
We discuss their level of how much pressure they'd like during that massage. And I do check in with the client as I move from various body part to body part and check in and make sure that that pressure that I'm using is good for them. And where is your studio located? I'm located in Ocean Isle at 1428 Cassidy Court in Ocean Isle. It's next to the Landing Shopping Center where the Food Lowe store is, close to the Causeway. And um, it is, I've gotten a lot of positive feedback from clients who have come to my studio saying it's very spa-like, it's very relaxing. It's different coming to a home studio as opposed to, say, one that's in a salon, simply because people's mindset and the feeling of that just kind of, you just kind of zone out at the end. They want to be able to just leave, not discuss with anybody, not see anybody. So they like that aspect yeah. of being able to just go from the studio to the car. So they love the music, the peacefulness of it, um, the one-on-one -on -one reaction that I have with my clients. So it's, I've gotten very positive feedback. I'm real fortunate. Do you see trends in massage therapy at all? I do. I see people who are coming and making more frequent appointments, making them more routine. Um, for example, I have a client who came to me, he was having, as he put it, chronic and debilitating headaches weekly. And his son, who was a doctor, suggested that he see a massage therapist. He had never been to a massage therapist. And he was a bit intimidated by the whole process, but we worked up a treatment plan as far as the frequency of his, his massages uh, the target area that we would work on and he each after each session he increasingly was feeling better and better and better he's still with me he comes you know once every two three weeks for maintenance massage 30 minutes wow. and he's thrilled because the headaches when he has them occasionally now they're very short-lived and he says it's kind of a new lease on life and another client is somebody who she had a double mastectomy it was almost six years post that when she came to me, she was having tightness in her chest and still an inability to raise her arms and shoulders. Again, we worked up a treatment plan. She now can raise her arms with limited resistance over her shoulder and she's thrilled. But she does come for maintenance. Yeah. And that's what makes a difference, I think, in people's well, bodies. Well, thank you for being with us today. I appreciate and it. We appreciate your time and showing us a little bit about what to expect. And I'm sure Tony appreciates a little uh, <laughs> attention today. So thank you. Again, thank you, Marie. Thank you. Appreciate being here. I hope you enjoyed our August show today. I promise you'll have your, your co-host Tony Carrico back along with Megan next month. Um, I appreciate being here today. We had a great show. Um, Megan, I hope you enjoyed your first, your first time here. <laughs> I did. It was great meeting new people and some of our members of the chamber and learning about their businesses. It was great. Yeah. Um, I enjoyed um, Sheila and I love how she used the term living locket. Um, that seemed like a perfect um, way to describe their product. Mm -hmm. and, what they do and I enjoyed hearing about their their stories of their clients and what that meant to them and how that touched their heart and I liked hearing those stories mm -hmm. special so um, we have some great events coming up um, through the chamber we've got um, business after hours August 28th and that will be at sea trail we have the womanless beauty pageant which is August 22nd and those tickets are $25 that should be a very fun event um, and we also are gearing up for the fall season for the Oyster Festival. So if you would like to be a part of that, please contact me um, at the chamber and I'll be glad to help you and um, we're excited. Thank you. ATMC TV Channel 3 and HD Channel 910, your community channel. My Green Daddy is the best Green Daddy ever. Where does he work? AMC Wireless.